subscribe ku comment ku like na ku share ili kuwa kwanza kupata habari mbali mbali kutoka Dato Info Media Mimi ni Somba na hii ni Sports Base ya Dato Info Media leo nipo kwa Predator mwenyewe Asma Rebelem eh, kutoka Afrika Kusini katika ardhi ya Nelson Madiba Mandela kijana huyu amefanya makubwa katika taifa la Tanzania na watu wakasema ukifika Afrika Kusini jaribu kumtafuta Predator tuzungumze naye tupate maoni yake anaweza akaja tena Tanzania akapigana tena na Toa Kiduku au akapigana tena na Selemani Kidunda au asani mwakinyo manake tetesi zilikuwa nyingi lakini pia vile vile zipo tetesi zinasema kwamba huenda akawa mfaume mfaume mimi siwezi kuzungumza mengi mwenyewe yupo atazungumza saubona 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 <laughs> moyo <laughs> mambo <laughs> poa poa <laughs> namtaka mwakinyo <laughs> ya <Yeah>. namtaka mwakinyo <laughs> unamtaka mwakinyo ya yeah. na yeye eh yeah. any time unamtaka mwakinyo uh, i can fight him any time anywhere ya anywhere any time wana predator anakwambiaje yeye anamtaka mwakinyo muda wowote anaweza kupigana naye story tu za kuweza kuchangamsha mazungumzo yetu uh, first of all Thank you bro. Uh, you are welcoming me well and uh, I would like to know the, 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 your, your nickname Predator. Why Predator? Yeah, predator just because uh, I'm a predator. You know the predator was uh, it's an animal who, uh, who hunt and kill other animals. Yeah. Uh, so I'm a predator, I'm a boxer. I go to the ring and I kill boxers. Yeah. yeah. Who gives you uh, the, the name of predator? Uh, I get that name uh, in Limbombo 2018 we were fighting for SA Games. Yeah. yeah. 2018. 2018 years. I think it was in an amateur boxing career. Yes, I was an amateur. Yeah. Yeah. You have a lot of um, amateur career uh, games than professional games um, that makes you to be stronger in in a professional boxing. Tell us the, the, the secret behind of that all too many games in 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 amateur. Uh, the problem is that uh, in the amateur games uh, we fighting so we fighting uh, different opponents uh, different people uh, and also we fighting like uh, traveling you know traveling so fighting uh, different boxers from other countries uh, so that is where i test myself that i'm ready to go to professional so um, do you remember any boxers that uh, have you shared a ring together and they are now successful in the game uh yeah yeah come on them can you mention them uh it's yeah uh, my friend uh seven nothing he's a world champion now yeah. uh, i share a ring with him yeah. and also others others they are they are champions also don john fenderton he's also a champion now i share a ring with him uh I don't know other boxers. I don't follow them. Yeah. yeah. What the difference between uh, amateur boxing career and professional boxing career? Uh, amateur, amateur boxing career. Uh, yeah, we're doing it uh, for fun and to get discipline. And when it comes to professional, it's personal and it's business. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, now in, you're in a, in a in a in a in a professional boxing career. Uh, tell me the, the 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 best fight that you fought. Uh, the best fight that I fought, uh, <laughs> it was on uh, 2022. Yeah, it was on 2022 when I was fighting for a state title against Cohen Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did that and, and, and it was where? It was here in South Africa at Pretoria. 
Yeah. yeah. So okay, uh, let's go back to our to our mission. Uh, tell us uh, uh, about your time in Tanzania. What have you experienced there? How would you speak of Tanzanians as a nation? Uh, what I've experienced there in Tanzania. Uh, First of all, yeah, there, it's hot then. <laughs> <laughs> <In the kitchen. laughs> it's hot yeah, and also yeah, it's nice there. People there, lots of people, they support boxing. There's a lot of supporters in Tanzania. Yeah. Uh, I also have uh, supporters in Tanzania. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of supporters. <laughs> because, because, of, oh, 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 because of the first game, second game or both? Both. both. Yeah, especially the first game. When I go there, I come back with a lots of lots of fans. Yeah. When I when I go there again, I've got lots of supporters. Yeah. yeah. So um, the first game uh, was against uh, Tua Kidoku, wow. yeah. and uh, after the game, people called you Skudu. <laughs> Skudu, the, the player, of Younger Sports Club, the South African player. From uh, uh, it was a uh, uh, good nickname for you because everyone, when you see your picture, oh, that boy is a Skudu. That boy is a Skudu. <laughs> wow. How how was it on the first time? Yo, I feel so good, 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 good. Just because uh, people there, when I go there. And the, it was a way in. Yeah. All people were undermining me, say I'm small, and also I'm, I'm a kid, yeah, all those names. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I didn't panic, you know, yeah. just because I know in the ring it will be me and Twaha. Yeah. Then the following day, yo, yeah. <laughs> they respect me <laughs> after the fight. <laughs> <laughs> like in, uh, boxing, like a marriage, uh, you, you can have a lot of supporters. When it comes uh, the, 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 the marriage, you'll be a wife and husband. So in, in the ring, you <laughs> and your opponent. So uh, tell me, uh, my brother, uh, after the fight, uh, Twa, you, you said that uh, it's okay, uh, that boy is a winner and he's, uh, he got a lot of skill uh, than me. Tell me, what was the message from Twa to you after the, after the fight? Uh, Twa after the fight, uh, he wished me a luck. Uh, he said, uh, I box well, I do good. Uh, and also what I noticed is that uh, Twa is a good guy, you know? Yeah, so he has a good heart. Yeah. What, 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 why did you turn off your uh, boxing matches in your YouTube? Uh, <laughs> uh, just because I don't, I don't want, I don't want them to to learn, yeah. you know. They they were gonna study me, so we take those videos off so that he can know me. So, yeah. I want I, I want him, I want them to take me as a as a child. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you started you started to fight before the fight. Yes. It was a good technique, bro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even 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 uh, even the fans even the fans in in Tanzania said, yeah, that guy is very brilliant. He started to fight before the fight. So um, after the fight, uh, you get a lot of fans there. You get a lot of message. Uh, tell me the way people come to you in the social media, the way talking about you, the way uh, the news uh, rating about you that day. Is uh, people from the Tanzania, they, they talk good about me. They motivate me. Uh, yeah. The second fight, Again, Seriman Kidunda. On the way in, uh, there was uh, a lot of soldier there, and you say that this is not a war. <laughs> I like the way you're speaking. This is not a war, guys. This is this is the boxing. Tell me, how was the situation over there? Uh, no, those people uh, they have a lot of drama, you know. When, it's a when, drama. Yeah, it's a drama. When Seriman Kidunda promotion. <laughs> came to the ring, he came with soldiers, you know. He's soldiers. a soldier. He's a soldier. But uh, that, that was in the war. We were going to fight in the ring. You know, it's not the army there. This is boxing. It's not an army. Yes, it's not the army. It was yeah. like a way in. Yeah, it was a way in. It's so why so Charles? Yeah. Maybe it's a promotion of that game, man. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, on the second time, you didn't turn off the, your matches on YouTube? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah. yeah. How was, how was uh, your studying about uh, Kidunda? Uh, I know, I know Kidunda. I, I watch his fight. Uh, he, How many fights? Who? How many fights of Kidunda? You've been watching. I think I watched two. I think I watched two fights. Then I get bored. Uh, then I switch it off. Two fights. Yeah, I only watch two fights. Maybe round one and round two. Then I switch it off. Two fights. Round one, round two, two and then. Yeah. Hey. 
you know yeah. each and everything about Kirunda uh, in the two rounds. Yeah, in the two rounds. I get what I want in the two rounds. But uh, for the first time, you get knocked down. Yeah, it was the first time to get uh, knocked down. Oh, yeah. It's a great experience. Uh, I never go down yeah. before. Yeah. But I managed to get up. What is important is to get up and go and fight. Yeah. yeah. So um, on that fight, I saw your, your technique. You play and then you go back to your corner. You play, you go back to your corner. You play, you go back to your corner in order to get some instruction from your, your coach. But on the side, on, on another side, there are a lot of people on your opening. Tell me, uh, what the secret behind to play? and then to go back to your corner, oh, play with open gun. Sometimes you played with open gun. Yeah, you fought with open gun, <laughs> like this one. You see? Uh, the problem in that fight, uh, the reason why I was busy looking at my corner, my right arm, my right arm was injured, you know? Oh. So the only, the only side that I was playing with is, is a jab and the left hook. But you always you're playing with the jab. Yeah, but the last, last one. Yeah, I always use the jab, then counter by the right hand, yeah. but the right hand was injured. Mm. You know, so which is why I was always looking at the corner so that I can see what we're gonna do next. Okay. Yeah, all right, that's the good, good skills. So, uh, let's go back about uh, you are so energetic in your fights. Uh, what the secret behind this? Uh, some people accuse of using drugs. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? <laughs> yeah, because, uh, Almost, you up almost one hour before the fight, and you're going to the fight uh, with that the same energy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, 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 tra I'm training too hard, you know. I'm training uh, extra time, you know. Even now, you see now, this is my second session. Later, I will go for the last session, you know. I, I, I invest more time in the gym, you know. I'm prepared for full 12 rounds. Knockout to me, it's upon us. I know I can stand up for full 12 rounds without getting tired. Yeah. Just because I'm prepared. But in that fight, uh, uh, in some rounds you play like uh, you are very dizzy, but uh, on, the, on round <laughs> 7, 8, 9, it was like you start again. <laughs> yeah. so those are starting from round 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, those are championship rounds. You know, so you have to push with those rounds just because they are the championship rounds. Because yeah. some some boxing pundits there, uh, they 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 asking about uh, antidote because uh, this guy is <laughs> yeah, this guy is playing so tough. Uh, yeah, even, uh, yeah, even in my fight when I won SA title, they do that. They I go to a doping. Yeah. They they thought I'm using drugs. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just training. Natural training. The only secret is training. It's training and eating good. Eating good? Yeah. What kind of food? Like veggies and what what. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Sela, uh, tell us uh, what the lifestyle of uh, South, South African boxers. Uh, there's no lifestyle here. You sleep, go to the gym, go home and rest, go to the gym, go home and rest, go to the gym and go home. Yeah. Uh, there is uh, uh, rumors. Yeah. You wish uh, to fight uh, against Hassan Mokinho. Uh Tell us about that rumors. Yeah. Because even yourself, I had, uh, I had, I had uh, some. It was a short clip. You said that I want to send Mokinho, and I'm Taka Mokinho. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want to fight Hassan Mokinho just because they believe he's the best boxer in Tanzania. You know, I believe I'm the best boxer in South Africa, so the best have to face the best. Yeah. You see some posts of, uh, there are some posts of Hassan Mokinho, uh, he used to say that uh, it will be the last time to that a uh, boy from Madiba's land uh, is playing like shoo, shoo, to come again <laughs> here in Tanzania. He must not always talk, he must accept the fight so that we can make the fight. Are you sure you can beat Mokinho? I'm very sure. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I won't even finish the rounds with Mokinho. I promise. 12 rounds. I won't finish 12 rounds with Mokinho. I promise you now. Four rounds is enough. Mokinho? Yeah. But last fight of Mokinho. I watched Mokinho. You watched Mokinho? I watched him. With that Ghanese at Zanzibar. I watched even. It was WPO Africa? It was a WPO Africa. I, yeah. I even watched that fight. Yeah. You watched that? It's For me, yeah. yeah. Anything that uh, you found from Hassan Mokinho? <laughs> I won't told you, yeah. but I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wana, anasemaje katika fight yake ile ambayo Mwakinyo amecheza Zanzibar ameitazama. Nani kamuuliza kitu gani ambacho amekiona anasema ah 
Aweze akaniambia lakini amemwona lakini atomaliza round 12. So four rounds enough mwa Kenya. Yeah, it's enough. Four rounds is enough in Wakenya. Wakenya is watching this interview, yeah. bro. Wakenya he is knows. He knows. Talk to him directly. Wakenya, you, <laughs> you knew four rounds is enough between me and you. You can't go to round number five. Even Tanzanians, uh, they want to see your fight uh, against Wakenya. Say it's the time uh, to give uh, Asimara Velim uh, to Wakenya. Wakenya is always talking in the interviews, ne? but when they offer him a fight, he said, there's another promoter from Tanzania. He offered him a fight with me, and he said, uh, I'm a kid, I have few fights. But oh. he said he want me. But when they offer him a fight, he said, I'm a kid. This is so exclusive. You see? Yeah, he always come with excuses, Mwakinya. So I'm not taking him serious. Oh. So he underestimate you. Yeah. You're a kid. You yeah. don't too much, uh, too much, much fights, much. yeah. Oh. Bwana, jamaa semaje yeye amekubali kucheza na Mwakinyo na mapromoto akimfuata Mwakinyo anasema huu ni mtoto na ana mapambano machache tu. Huu ni bado mdogo. Si? Lakini yeye mwenyewe anakuwa mimi namtaka Mwakinyo na hata round 4 tu zinamtosha kumtandika. Na lakini pia Mwakinyo kwenye interview anasema pia kuna post moja uh, Mwakinyo alishawahi kuipost kwenye Instagram kwamba huu uh, bwana huu kijana kutoka kwa Madiba inaweza ikawa ni mara mwisho kuja kupigana na Tanzania. So um, after all stuffs about Mwakinyo, uh, what do you have to say? Uh, I won't say anything. I just, I, I just need him to, to accept the fight and sign the contract and let's do it. I don't care whether it's in Tanzania, in his hometown or, or in his yard. Yeah. I don't care. I will go and fight him. What about Mfaume Mfaume? Is there some rumors in Tanzania nowadays? Uh, yeah, I was just waiting. Yeah. We're just waiting. Otherwise, we'll go there. You know, Mfaume Mfaume? I uh, just saw his record and, and uh, one video of him. Yeah. Yeah. Your comment about him? Hmm? He's a good boxer, technical one, tough one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. Because um, <laughs> there, there, there is a record about um, Mfaume. He be somebody and there are click. Who Mfaume Mfaume? Yeah. He's a it's trade. Some, it be someone. Pit someone. I'm too friend. I'm not that someone. I'm so much available. Yeah. He can't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the nickname of Mfaume Mfaume is Mapafu Yambua. The lungs of dome. I don't care. You, don't, you understand what I mean? Uh, Mapafu Yambua. Yeah. The lungs of dome. <laughs> I you have a lot, of, a, a, lot, a lot of punches, you have a lot of experience. Ah. So, you told me I will kill Mfaume Mfaume if he will accept the fight. Yeah, if he can accept the fight, serious. Yeah. Ah, I will kill him. Brutal. Really? really? Yeah. I'll kill him. Anyone you want to kill? You want to kill Mwakinyo, you want to kill Kiduku, you want to, you want to kill uh, Mfaume, you want to kill uh, Kidunda, anyone? All the Tanzanians. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone, if even Mwakinyo, even Mfaume, you're okay? Yes, anyone, I'm okay. What about the rematch uh, against uh, Selemani Kidunda, the soldier? I can go for a rematch. Anything for me. Even Tua Kiduku? Even Tua. He, uh, even Tua used to say that uh, I'm the only one I can beat as a Marvelim. I'm the only one uh, I lose uh, my, 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 my respect and uh, I'm the only one I can give it back to me. <laughs> Not uh, any boxer. He can come. Yeah. He can come. <laughs> Tua Kiduku. Yeah, Tua Kiduku. Now, now uh, the last fight he won against Indian boxer. Yeah, I saw the fight. It was good. Yeah, it was good. And it's enough to, to fight with you. Hmm? Yeah, he can come to me. I can give him a rematch. If, still want, if you want a rematch, I can give him a rematch. Why are you so confident, Levo? Yeah. Why are you so confident? <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm training hard, yeah. you know, when you're training hard and you know what you're doing, you have to be confident. After all stars, so you are, your plans, you're going to uh, fight in this country or you're going to fight again in Tanzania? They are, they are coming fight. Mm, any fight for me. If I can get a fight, I take the fight. Just because I, I'm always at the gym, you know. So any fight that I get, I go for it. Yeah. Tell me your, time, your, your training timetable. Uh, I training two times a day in the morning and now and later. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you have 23 years old now. Yes, I'm 23 years old now. You fight like uh, with your daddy, Selemani Kidunda. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So you fought with your dad? Yes, I fought with him. <laughs> I fought with him. Yeah. Apart from boxing, how many children do you have? Uh, I don't have a children. No, children. Uh, my children is, is on the way. <laughs> <laughs> but you are the first one, or last one, or, or you, are, you, are, you, are, you are third one in your family? Uh, I'm, the, uh, I'm the last one. Your last one? Yeah, I'm the last one. <laughs> As people taking you, your last one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the last one with my mom and my dad. How many yeah. are you? We, we are three. My, my sister, Zianda, and my brother, Archie, uh, and also me. Your last one? I'm the last one, the last one. Bwana wewe mzuanda wakini, ana pigia uwe wikikutana na Like the old one. So but my brother, um, in your family, is your only boxer or not? Uh, I'm the only boxer. Hey, yeah. What did you get from me? Yeah. Uh, my uncle was boxing a uh, long time ago, uh, and my other cousin. Mm. Yeah. But now I'm the only one in my family. Okay. Yeah. All right. So they uh, stopped boxing. Yeah. They were boxing before. My uncle was a boxer and he was an amateur boxer. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm. And also my cousin brother was a professional boxer, but uh, he's not boxing anymore. Okay. Your words uh, to your fans, your words uh, to your uh, boxing fans in Tanzania. First of all, from Tanzania, yeah. keep on supporting me. I like the support. I like to be in Tanzania. Uh, I hope I will come again soon. <laughs> and also my fans here, they also supporting me each and every fight. Even, even if I'm not fighting here in South Africa, they always supporting me. Thank you very much. Bwana anaitwa Asemare Velem tumezungumza mengi. I pronounced well your name. Asemare Velem. Asemahle. Asemahle. Yeah. It's good. Asemahle yeah, is good. In Tanzania people call you Asemale. Asemale. Yeah, they they call me that in Tanzania. Bwana <laughs> nimezungumza na Asemahle Velem kutoka Eastern Cape tumezungumza mengi kuhusiana na uh, maisha yake ya ngumi katika familia yake ndio mtoto wa mwisho lakini ndio pekee anayecheza uh, mchezo wa ngumi za kulipwa na kuhusiana na Ishu ya Hassan Mwakinyo, hawe zungumza kwa mba jamaa, ana muitaji, lakini Mwakinyo asema hawe bado mtoto mdogo, na mechi ndogo, na mechi chache, sindio, lakini pia yuko tali kurudiana na kidunda, yuko tali kurudiana na eh, tuwa kiduku, muda wote, semi yote, uh, tume zungumza mengi kusiana na kile ambacho watu wanaisi kwa mba pengine labda, uh, anatumia labda madawa kutokana na nguvu walio kwa nao lakini anasema ni mazoezi tu hata hapa nimemkuta ametoka kufanya mazoezi kwa ajili ya kuweza kujiweka fit kuhusiana na eh, career yake ya boxing meneto somba hii ni dart and formidia all the way from south africa bye bye usahau subscribe ku comment ku like na ku share ili kuwa kwanza kupata habari mbali mbali kutoka dart and formidia